so it's been more than one year of our residency in dermatology and surgery, surgery. so i think this is the perfect time where we can discuss and share our residency with you all people who are applying for the counseling this year hi everyone i'm dr kanaka and i am dr shivang and welcome back to dr, dr. duo sharing some of our experiences in surgery as well as dermatology residency so that you can listen to them and then decide accordingly which of these you want to opt for we'll be dividing this into multiple topics and then telling you the details of these so the first and the foremost topic is workload so i would talk about the workload of dermatology i think there's no need to even tell i know a lot of people know that it is not that hectic it involves opd I think a lot of people just know this but it is not true in dermatology you have wards as well which means that you need to have three times round in the ward that is morning afternoon and evening so apart from opd you also have wards and then it is not just a medicinal thing you also have minor ot and major ot procedures taking place like for example in minor ot you have mold removal or even sebaceous cyst comes under us and which is obviously uh, shared with surgery people but then you also have skin tag removal vitiligo surgery and also hair transplant so these are just very few i have mentioned it and we have phenolization and all of these procedures we actually have so these are few things which a lot of people do not know well about surgery to be honest you have to be mentally prepared for a hectic lifestyle well i believe hectic lifestyle is not bad because if you are if you have a hectic lifestyle that means you have a lot of work to do and in the end if you are doing more work that means you are earning more and everything is in positive direction right so now talking about residency well you have everything you can think of first of all you will have to do all the opds then followed by multiple admissions so you will spend a lot of time in wards then operations take a major chunk of your time some ot's can even i mean go for 5 to 6 hours per day and then comes the post op part you know the post op part is also as important as the operation itself because if post op care is not done properly it may lead to major mortality as well as morbidity well in this era very major advancement surgeries such as robotic surgeries minimal invasive surgeries single port laparoscopic surgeries have come up they actually require a lot of skill as well as training and now talking about the emergencies obviously in dermatology we do not have much emergencies but it doesn't mean that we have zero emergencies again a very few people know about this that we do deal with emergencies like steven johnson or maybe pustular psoriasis or patient coming in reactions of leprosy so these are the cases which are admitted in ward and mostly comes in emergency first so we have emergencies though they are rare but yes they do come well surgery it is full of emergencies but it also depends on which branch you want to super specialize but in general surgeries also you do have emergencies because even if it's a case of head trauma or a simple head injury they will first come to a general surgeon first but then again if you super specialize in some branches such as plastic surgery you may not have much emergencies but again if you opt for neurosurgery gastro surgery in these blunt trauma abdomen head injuries and multiple emergencies are very common simple cases of ruptured aortic aneurysms i mean you will have to have a good and hectic lifestyle so be prepared for emergency and i think if you are thinking towards this direction you already have a gist that yes you won't get a good night sleep every day now talking about further studies yes dermatology is definitely an end branch and i think this is one of the major uh, reason why people are inclined towards this branch because it is an end branch and not even hectic so yes you can do fellowships after awards like you have fellowships in dermato surgery you have fellowships in cosmetology that is aesthetic medicine and lot more you can explore the world but if you do not want to go for fellowships with clinical dermatology it is enough in surgery in this era i think mch is quite a compulsion because especially in big cities and metropolitan cities people prefer to go to a specialist rather than a general surgeon although general surgeons are also doing very good in life and they are earning good money as well as doing very good cases but being a specialist will help you do more complicated cases as well as attract a good crowd 
सो आई थिंक यू शुड ट्राई टू स्पेशलाइज इन वन ऑफ द थिंग्स सच एस गैस्ट्रो न्यूरो पीडियाट्रिक प्लास्टिक और वट एवर यू लाइक यू हैव अ वाइड एरिया ऑफ ऑप्शन बट जेस आई थिंक स्पेशलिटी इज अ मस्ट लाइफ स्टाइल आई थिंक डेफिनेटली यू चूज टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर थिंकिंग ऑफ वन सर्टन लाइफ स्टाइल यू वॉन्ट टू लिव ऑल योर लाइफ सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट डर्मेटोलॉजी यू हैव अ गुड लाइफ स्टाइल एज अ डॉक्टर like you would practice as a doctor you would work on your own terms but along with that you can definitely go and explore different things like business or side business interior designing like we people have a lot of interest why not so you can and you have time to explore these things and invest your time into these things as a surgeon that will depend whether you are in a private sector or you are doing a job but yes you will have a comparatively hectic schedule and get much less free time as compared to them but then again you will have multiple inroads in the hospital itself for example suppose you have a own hospital then you will have all the opds you will have the admissions you will have the pathology you will have the radiology i mean you will have the mul- you will have multiple avenues in hospital itself but just again if you have really interest in something else you can take out time like even i am doing youtube along with my studies and residency and of course we'll continue to do that okay so now talking about the money part i think again a very important factor of choosing any you sab puchte hain ki kitna paisa kis mein hai because true. in the end yaar honestly sabko paisa to chahiye hi of course and abhi se hi sab stipend puchte hain kis college mein hai matlab we have seen people getting it attracted towards different cities because us city mein zyada money zyada stipend mil raha hai so there is no harm talking about money so definitely i would say that any branch you take it has money until unless you do good in it so when you are doing good in that branch and you are providing the results which people actually want you would get money you would be successful you would be a famous doctor do you agree with that see even pathologist who are at top right now earn a lot so if you are top at your branch then you will certainly earn everything that doesn't depend on your branch much so it's like if a pathologist is on is on top and if a surgeon is a mediocre one so pathologist is actually earning more than a surgeon so it's not like related to a branch it is just related to how hard working and how good you are at your field but yes there might be some factors which may be related for example if some people are considering job then how is it in your branch so in my case if i talk about dermatology first of all uh, job opportunities in derma are as less as seats in a medical college for post graduation so definitely you will really have to fight for that seat if you want to get into a government sector or private sector so this for a better i would say a source of income it is really better if you go for your own private practice and most of the dermatologists at present do the same for surgery you do have good opportunities in job sector also especially in this advent of super speciality because major corporate hospitals are having different surgeons for different body parts for example they may have a different surgeon for colorectal system they may have a different surgeon for hepatobiliary system so on so even for general surgeons they have a separate space so by this thing the job opportunity increases a lot and then of course you have a option of private practice and as i had mentioned before this is this is also a big avenue because you have your admissions you have your opd you have your icu i mean you have all the options open and uh, a lot of people have this hindrance of private practice thinking there would be a lot of investment in what if you are just practicing clinical dermatology which involves a proper opd and talking about clinical dermatology as in like uh, diagnosing psoriasis or pemphigus or tinea scabies like these so for of, for all of this you just need a table and a chair and it doesn't involve a lot of investment investment comes when you just go a step ahead with lasers or towards aesthetic medicine so initially you can definitely begin with clinical dermatology in private practice and same goes with surgery you can just start with your opd and some minor procedures and just i mean build a minor ot for yourself and then you can go for advanced thing all the major surgeries laparoscopic surgeries icu and icu and different things talking about the cons of the branch uh if i talk about dermatology i have seen like i've experienced it now that a lot of different people like quacks beauty parlors or people who are not even mbbs these people have like taken up fellowships which are available very easily like for one or two months and are practicing cosmetology and are practicing cosmetology that is aesthetic medicine for example putting in botox or doing prp so though these procedures are not that tough 
but uh, i feel that fellowships to these people shouldn't be open but yes different institutes who do not have a recognized fellowships have starting giving training to people who are not even mbba for surgery you need to have a very brave heart it's not at all for chicken hearted people because in around 40 to 50% of cases you will need end moment improvisions because statistically 30% people have variable anatomy so it's like you have going to face completely new thing inside the abdomen or whatever part you open up aapne kahi pada bhi nahi hoga us cheez ko so you need to put your common sense and end moment improvisions to cure that so i think that is not that is not a cup of tea for everyone and one more thing is that when we have to deal with emergencies we definitely need to take referrals from different departments because definitely we are not much trained with the emergency work being a dermatologist we are mostly concerned with the skin manifestations but not about the systemic manifestations which is again kind of a drawback in dealing with emergency cases in our case in one of our standard books i won't mention the name it's written while you are operating upon a patient there may be some moment that you may think and you may consider your decision that why did you ever become a surgeon well i think it might be true because as i had said before that there is variable anatomy as well as there are hundreds of complications that may occur during the surgery as well as after the surgery even once you have operated the patient and you have discharged him successfully complica- complications may occur afterwards they may occur as post op complications and sometimes they may occur due to patient's negligence itself but then again majority of the blame is going to be put up upon you so by all of this one year of our so we have just shared and discussed with you all our experience of one year of this residency if you feel that there is any question which is unanswered definitely comment down below so that we can reply and help you as much as we can in this counseling process we are with you all the time we definitely want you to choose the best of college with best of branch possible and we have already made a dedicated video on counseling if you haven't watched it yet do watch it the link is over here so this is all if any other doubts you have do comment down and do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and let's reach 100k very very soon because why should not medicos have all the fun and do not forget to participate in the giveaway whose result we would be releasing on completion of 70k subscribers all the best guys goodbye bye so it's been almost wait and as less wait, wait, wait. If post-op care is not done properly